Welcome back to Start Your Day. The Biden administration hopes to implement measures to help stop the spread of COVID in many workplaces, but two key efforts have been challenged, and today the Supreme Court will take up those emergency appeals. Our D.C. correspondent, both the Yimam, joins us now live with a breakdown. And both of the big question at play here, can the Biden administration enforce vaccine and testing rules for large employers and a vaccine mandate for most health care workers? What do we know about what challengers are saying? So the challengers are saying, and these are mostly Republican attorney generals and uh, groups like retail associations, uh, trade associations that represent, I should say, retailers and transportation. And the challengers are saying, look, uh, this is this is uh, spreading the broad federal power beyond what is explicitly said they are able to do. So they're questioning whether OSHA really has the power to be able to do this. And in their in their words. They do not believe so. They also say that the uh, OSHA did not, before implementing this, really give in and, and talk about public input. They did not offer public input. So that's a great question because we know that uh, they are pointing out that millions of Americans are not persuaded to take the vaccine and may quit in droves because they won't want to pay for additional testing costs if it's not covered by employers. The Justice Department says OSHA has the authority from uh, Congress to ensure all workers are safe and healthy working conditions. But again, the challengers argue that Congress didn't put that kind of power in the hands of OSHA. And again, that the agency implemented the mandate without public input. Now, state and local authorities, it's worth pointing out here, do have the power. We've seen that in previous cases to protect public health. This is a question of the federal government, the executive branch, having broad federal power when it comes to these vaccine mandates. Naja? So, Bokta, how soon could we see a decision? Yeah, Bokta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Mike. No, go ahead, go ahead. She said, she asked a question. How soon yeah. could we see a decision? Right. Well, because of the nature, we know that 62 percent of the United States right now is fully vaccinated, but only 30 or so percent have the booster. We see these numbers. We see the cases rising at the same time. So because of the sensitive nature of this, we could see a decision in a matter of days. But remember, this is not going to say probably the full briefing. What they will do is say, OK, for now, and allow more detailed litigation to continue. So it may not be the final word, but they would decide whether the Biden administration can implement these mandates right now as they go on to more detailed uh, litigation. So we could see it, you know, within weeks, definitely potentially within days, just because of where we are right now as a country. Uh, both real quick, uh, this virus doesn't take a side when it comes to Republicans or Democrats, but we do have a uh, mostly conservative court. How, how much of a factor could that play uh, into the decision? I think it's going to be huge, Mike, and, that, and that's a good question, because when we look at the conservative court, what they look at is, um, although they are not, uh, it seems, personally against vaccines, they've all apparently been vaccinated. They have the booster. So the question of are they for or against personally isn't really up in the air right now. Um, but what they are concerned about is federal power. And it goes back to, mm -hmm. are we giving, um, you know, the, the federal government, are we giving them authority when it's not explicitly stated and what will this look like going forward because we know that cases like this set precedent and so they are going to probably push back on this i think it's going to be an uphill battle for the biden administration because of the nature of the court and and especially because we know that businesses and trade groups who the challenges are here are saying look at the state level, um, we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the federal government and broad sweeping power when it comes to vaccine mandates. And so I think it's going to be I think it's going to be based on even a previous ruling with the CDC and evictions, which the court did turn down and said evictions that mm -hmm. that wasn't in the purview. I think that we're going to see that this is going to be an uphill battle for the Biden administration.